Hello there, welcome back to the next ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at ClickSense null count function. So many times in our data set null, is, uh, null values are present or the null is present. Well in that case we need to make sure if, if there is a need to count the null values or to understand how many null values are present then we need to use null count function. And with the null count there is a special condition as well which I will show you in this video as well that uh, how to do or how to properly use this. So let's go ahead in the data and over here if you see in this data set which has customer product order number unit sales customer ID you have one of the rows which contains the null value. So null value whenever it is present in the data set uh, there is a special function like I said null count function which which is there but it doesn't work directly in click sense. So what I mean by that is let's say I create another table using the load statement and I will give it a name uh, by giving some space. Um, let's call it null underscore count okay uh, and we say customer comma um, uh, null count function null count and uh, we call it null count order number because this is the order number after product you have order number so in order number you have null so we will say order number as null order count so we have given the new name by using the keyword as and we will say resident what the stamp table group by and group by what customer all right so let's save it everything is okay load the data data is loaded go to the analysis and uh, let's take a table over here add the dimension which is customer and add one more dimension which is null order count. So right now null order count is zero. So that means there is something which is problematic, right? Ideally null count should have counted this particular value which is present. So if you're facing this similar issue, what you need to do is you need one variable which is set and uh, variable name is null interpret equals to null so in that case in that way what you are saying to the click sense system or to the click sense engine that whenever the null is present interpret it as null and once you are done you can again set you need to again set null interpret equals to nothing then semicolon this way you can specify if null is a space or null is a blank or null is anything then you know you can specify how you need to interpret the null well after that it should work so click close come to analysis and now you can see for this particular customer the count is coming and if you want to get the entire count we can say load null count as order number as total null count resident temp right because there is no dimension so no need to group by save and load data and now come to analysis and create a kpi call it total null count take a sum what you get is one right so overall count is one and where is null it's over here and in the front end itself so if i come over here i can use the null count in the front end also so to do that we can simply call it a measure expression editor and call it null count order number okay where is my cursor here it is apply and we get null count as one because it is a measure we also get the total so that way we can add 
the null count both in the script and in the front end for counting the null values. And before I close, I will just give you one more experiment over here. Since over here it is a blank value for beta cap, I want to specify that nulls are wherever the blank is present. So I have specified the blank. So I click save, load the data, click the close, come to analysis, and now in beta cap we have one, right? So this way, whatever your um, null values indication is whether it is null whether it is space whether it is blank that means no space just the blank then you can go ahead and specify that and get the output so that's about it in this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic